His initials are DD. Hopefully he has another D in there. If you know, you know. Hello, my shiny base. Hello, my besties. You are probably wondering two things. Number one, what is this, Larry? Number two, why are you in the kitchen? Let me explain. First of all, I'm in the kitchen because I want to be. No, it's because this lighting right now for the kitchen is the only thing working. I have been all over my house trying to film this video. I've tried my room. I've tried the kitchen, like the counter over there. I've tried the couch. I've tried by the window. Everything is either too bright or not bright enough. So I don't know what is going on in my house. What is going on in the house of chambers? Is that a sound? Am I like hallucinating. Do you know what sound I'm talking about? Anyway, there, there was a lot of chaos in my home with lighting situations and nothing was working. And then I stepped into the kitchen, okay? And I was like, ah, how beautiful is it over here? So we're gonna film this standing up like so. And if my posture by the end of this is dead, that is just a weight I will bear for you. That's how much I love you. Second, what are we doing with this? Well, let me just tell you, it's TBR time. We all know, we all know and love this time of the month, the beginning, where we decide what we're gonna read for the month. And by what we're gonna read, I definitely mean what we might probably Probably not read because I create TBRs for no reason at all because I usually don't even fucking read it. I read like two or three books from it, but it's fun. Okay, my mom's always asking me, Larry, why do you? Well, she doesn't call me Larry. She calls me Pilili. Don't even ask me why. It's such a weird thing. So she's always asking me like, why are you making TBRs if you're not gonna read them? She really doesn't get it. I can't explain it. It's fun to make TBRs and then to disappoint ourselves and not read it. It's just fun, okay? That's why I do it, I'm just a girl. So anyway, we're gonna make this month's TBR, but I thought a fun way to do it would be blindly choosing some books. So Lauren, BFF Lauren, we all know, we all love her. She went into my bookshelf and she picked out 20 books. Ta -da! She picked out these 20 books and then she did the damn thing and she wrapped these and numbered them and then put numbers here that I'm going to select from. I have no idea what books are here. She just picked out random books from my bookshelf. She didn't even pick them out like selectively. She was just like boop, 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 boop. And so I don't know what she chose, but I'm going to be choosing 10 numbers and then picking up the book that correlates to that number and opening those. And that's gonna be our TBR. We're gonna do 10 books. There are 20 here. We're gonna pick 10. Are we gonna read those 10? Probably not, but we're gonna move past that, okay? We already discussed this, so let's do it. Where's my water? Where's my super suit? What do you need to know? So how are you guys doing? I really miss you. I feel like we haven't we haven't chatted in a while. So tell me everything. How are the kids? How's the dog? How's the cat? How's the squirrel? How is the hamster? How are you, more importantly? How's your mental health? That's what I want to talk about. How are you doing? Oh my god, my therapist called me today and she was like, girly, you have not been here for like three weeks. And I was like, you are so right. <laughs> So I have a psychiatrist appointment tomorrow and then I have my therapist appointment next week. So stay tuned. Here we go. Let's do it. There's nothing really I can say about this. We're just doing, we're just doing the damn thing. Got it. I miss you. I'm so... Shut the actual front door up that I got number one. The first one I did is number one. Okay, this is our month. This is our month. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. March is our month. Everything good is coming our way because did you see what just happened? That's incredible. Anyway, which one's number one? It's really funny because Lauren like did this and then she did not put them in order at all. Like here's number 15 and then here's number two. Like, <laughs> I don't really know where number one is. <laughs> I got it. Number one to go with our number one. Oh my God, this is so fun. Oh my God, this feels like a present. It feels like Christmas. Ah! Even though these are my books from my shelf. What is this? Our first choice. Oh, 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 okay. You guys literally just got me this book. Oh my God, love the way you lie. This is like the, the football one or something like that, right? Is it about football? I feel like it is because there's a football on the cover. So we're just gonna go ahead and assume that. Tyler got this for me. Thank you so much. I remember being obsessed with the cover and I remember singing Love the Way You Lie, the entire thing. I don't know why I did that. We're gonna forget that it happened. It didn't happen. Do you have proof? I can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. It says, torn between my best friend and the boy who makes my heart beat again. Learning the truth might break me. Oh no. Oh, is this sad? We have Mackenzie and we have, I think his name's Atlas. I remember really liking his name. Is his name Atlas? Yeah, wait, Atlas in Grant. Wait, there's three PO, is this a love triangle? Why is there three POVs? Is the first book we got a love triangle? Because if so, I will have to write it. Also, don't look at my nails. I haven't gotten them done. I'm gonna get them done Friday because I have an event to go to next week. How exciting. I'm going to Dallas. It's literally for only two days. And I'm bringing Lauren with me and I'm so excited. Anyway, love the way you lie. Okay, Boys of Riverside. I guess there's more than one book to this series. Oh wait, her last name is Graham. Is that why there's Graham on the pages? Maybe it's not a POV. Maybe it's just her last name. Like maybe she just wants to write it there. Maybe it's not a love triangle. Oh no, 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 it, there's Graham. <laughs> 
I was being Delulu for a second, but being Delulu is the Salulu. I guess not in this case. Love the Way You Lie is book number one. I'm excited. If you read this, let me know. I'm excited to read it. Hopefully I do. If it's on Kindle Unlimited, I'll probably read it to be honest, because then I could read the paperback during the day and then the Kindle version at night. I like to do that a lot. I read the paperback like at a coffee shop during the day, like mysteriously, like, you know, I'm just like sipping my coffee and you look at me and you're like, wow, she's so mysterious and studious. What is she reading? And then when I'm home, I'm like, well, I'm just going to read on my Kindle because I want to read with the lights off and I want to like be in my cave with my tea and not be bothered. Book number one, love the way you lie. Yay. Second one. I just realized we have to do this 10 times. It took me quite literally how long has it been? Oh my God, it took me eight minutes just to do the first one. Eight, number eight. What's four plus four? Eight, we ate that one. Ha -ha. Here's number eight. She's kind of big, okay. She kind of thick or whatever. Why is she like so long? That's what she said. <laughs> Here we go. You guys are gonna see the book before me. How about that? That's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna let you see it before I see it. Do you see it? Is it upside down? Is this better? Oh, the favorite! Wait, this is another one you guys got me. You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think Lauren literally went to the very like, okay, what is this light? What is this light? It's giving Cyclops. What's going on here? Anyway, I think Lauren just like went into the very front of my bookshelf and grabbed what was in the front because I put the books you guys get me. I always put them in the front. The favor! I'm so excited. I don't know why I spit in your face. I'm so sorry for that. I don't know what this is about. I remember thinking that I wanted to read it and I remember being like, oh, there's a cat right there. Karma is a cat. But I don't remember what it's about. It says Vienna. Oh my God. Slow down. You're doing fine. You can be everything you want to be before your time. Although it's so romantic on the borderline tonight. Ah, oh. Do you know I didn't really know who Billy Joel was? I know, I know. You guys are probably like, Larry, what the fuck? But Lauren's the one that told me about him. I was like, oh my God, he's like really good. <laughs> you know, from Camp Rock, that scene where Allison Stoner goes like. <laughs> and then Demi Lovato was like, she's like she's really good. good. <laughs> Well, that was me listening to Billy Joel. And Lauren was like, girl, he's like so popular. What do you mean you don't know Billy Joel? I'm not from here, okay? I don't know the classics. <laughs> so technically Lauren relates to that Olivia Rodrigo song that goes, I was the one who taught you Billy Joel. You know, deja vu. Vienna knew she only had herself to blame. Don't blame her. You didn't let yourself become indebted to a man like Dane. His name's Dane Davenport. No matter how badly you needed his help. <laughs> his initials are DD. <laughs> Hopefully he has another D in there. If you know, you know. He'd request her to be his wife for 12 months. Oh my God, wait. So it is CEO. So therefore it is billionaire romance. It is assistant and boss. And it is also marriage of convenience. I am so there. Things are going surprisingly amazing. This was definitely my best idea. It only goes downhill from here. Number nine. Oh my God, but I just got number eight. Wait, why, why is this happening? Why am I being this way? Number one was the first one. Then I got number eight. Now I got number nine, which is right behind number eight. Like, what the fuck, you know? Anyway, number nine. Number nine. Oh, I've been wanting to read this book. I've had this in my shelf for quite some time. Tastes like Shakar. I've been wanting to read it by Nisha Sharma. It looks so cute. Honestly, just because of the cover. I actually don't know what it's about. It just says, Bobby, she's determined to plan a celebration for her best friend's wedding. Okay. And then what? Are they both in the wedding? Oh yeah, the groom's best friend. Oh wait, how fun. Her best friend's getting married and then his best friend's getting married and they're getting married to each other. So I'm guessing they're gonna meet for the wedding shenanigans. Oh my God, what a good time. I'm very excited for this one. I will say this has been sitting on my shelf for a while. I don't know when I will read it. I'm gonna try. Let's start right now. Benjamin. It's all about that Benjamin. Schmidt, okay. There you go. This is the one. If this is number 10, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try again. Cause, oh, 18. <gasps> okay, we got a higher number this time. Do you see that? 18. Here it is. Oh my God, this one's floppy. I already feel a floppiness and it's like very tiny. Oh, I like her. Lauren's so good at wrapping. Like I'm very shocked by this wrapping job. Oh, oh, I remember getting this. Let me explain my situation with this book. I bought this book long ago. I saw it on Amazon and it called to me. It said, Larry, please buy me. And now I'm like, why did I get it? Because that, now that I'm staring at it, it's not really calling to me at all. But here we are. I've never even read this author, Annabelle Monaghan, Monaghan, same time next summer. I don't even know, what is it? Is it a romance? Is it a fiction? What is it? Beach rules, do take long walks on the sand. Do not put an umbrella in every cocktail. Do not run into your first love. Ooh, fun, wait. Okay, second chance romance maybe? It seems like it's a vacation kind of thing. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, this seems fun. It's like a beach house. Like she runs into her first love at a beach house on vacation. That is really cool. I like that. Sam and Wyatt. Those are literally just like white people names. Sam and Wyatt. <laughs> oh, and it's a now and then timeline. I like that. I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's read a random sentence. Let's see what happens, ready? That's going to wreck it. There, that's all you need to know. Book number four in our TBR, same time next year. Three. 
cute. Okay, the lighting is getting bad. We're gonna move. We're gonna move. We're gonna move. Are you ready? We're gonna move. How's this? Is that better? Hold on, I gotta grab everything. Fuck. How are we? Ha ha! No second trips. Here we go. We're gonna continue on the floor. Oh my God. Oh my God, my memory chip's running out of memory. Hold on, gotta go get another one. I left this in the kitchen counter because I knew I was gonna need another memory chip. I was prepared for this moment. I decided to wear a dress today because I wanted to be like fancy for you guys. And now like I regret it because I'm not comfy. But do you think I look pretty? <laughs> Tell me I look pretty or else I'm gonna be upsetting spaghetti. Anyway, here we go. Number four. No, because I'm like a witch today. I was saying number four is in the fourth book we're picking because I've only, oh wait, that's not even right. It was, <laughs> this is the fifth book. <laughs> Okay, but I'm a witch even when I'm wrong because this is the fifth book we're picking. But I went to go say like, this is the number four. And then I picked number four. That just goes to show manifestation works because what the fuck was that? I am a witch. My memory card did died, but I fixed it. Don't worry. Anyway, where's number four? Oh, here it is. Number four. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit scared of this one, but I'm excited. Oh no. Oh, this is the first like one we got that I'm scared of. I was not prepared to read this series. I'm not gonna lie. Well, this is a trilogy. It's American Queen, then American Prince, and then American King. And I kind of just wasn't in the mood to read it, but here it is. So therefore we kind of must. I really do want to vlog it. I want to do that, but I just, oh man. Let's open a random page. Here we go. I'm a virgin. Oh, tell me more. Tell me more. Oh man, okay, we're gonna read it. It's fine. I am excited to read this book and I have been excited to read this book. I'm just a very much mood reader and I only read books like in the exact moment I want, which is why I'm so bad at TBRs because I end up not being in the mood for the book, okay? And my mom gets so mad at me. She's always like, read this book. And I'm like, well, I'm not in the mood right now. She's like, what do you mean? Make yourself in the mood. I'm like, no, you don't get it. Like I'm not in the mood. If I'm in the mood for mafia, you can't just tell me to read a cute little rom-com. I'm in the mood for mafia. Like I want people to be murdered. They're not gonna be murdered in a rom-com. I mean, they could be, but that's weird, you know? Hopefully I'll be in the mood for this, but American Queen, I have been very excited to read this series. <laughs> and I did tell you guys I was gonna vlog it. So technically we're killing several birds with several stones. I don't really like that saying. I'm not gonna lie. Can we like hug the birds? Like I don't, I don't know why we're killing the birds. We're feeding the birds. Let's say we're feeding the birds with several breadcrumbs. Feeding two birds with one breadcrumb. They're not getting fed well, but they're getting fed nonetheless. So we've done five so far. We have five more to go. Let me try to shake this more like, cause I need to stop getting the exact number that I say I'm gonna get. Cause that's wild. Number seven, number seven, here we go. Always remember that I was the one who taught you Billy Joel. A different girl now, but there's nothing new. I know you get deja vu. Oh, the fake mate. Okay, by Lana Ferguson. I just read Bride by Ellie Hazelwood last month. You guys saw it in the wrap-up. If you watched the wrap-up, if you didn't. What? What? We're supposed to be best friends. You have to support me. So I guess the fake May would be my next read because I read Bride and a lot of people have been like going from Bride to the fake mate because apparently it has like the same kind of wolf thing. Yeah, two wolf shifters. They agree to be fake mates, but unexpectedly find something real in this steamy paranormal romantic comedy. Yeah, so they're both paranormal romances like Bride and this one. I like Bride. It just, it wasn't my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't like my favorite book ever. I feel like a lot of people are giving it five stars and stuff. It wasn't a five star for me, but I did like it. So I feel like the fake mate will be fun. Let's see. I'm seeing someone. Mackenzie. Oh my God, another person named Mackenzie. Wasn't someone else in the book in Love the Way You Lie? Mackenzie, right? Another Mackenzie. Oh, would you look at that? Okay. The fake mate. That is book number six of our TBR. Fun stuff. Things are fun over here. Here we go. This number is going to be, wait, let me guess. 13. 14. Are you kidding? I was off by one number. It's fine. Close enough. It's right at the top, by the way. I don't know if you guys are even seeing the numbers, but they're right at the top. I'm not just picking up random ones. I promise. That does not look like the back of a book I know. What is this? Oh my God, daughter, excuse me. Okay, this is one of the first books I bought. Like ever. I bought it so long ago, like so many years ago. Wow, this is interesting to see this one on here. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't read it. So that's okay, but what even is it? I mean, I'm guessing she's the daughter of the Pirate King. We're just gonna go ahead and take a gander that that's the truth. What's going on? It's fantasy, obviously. She sent on a mission to retrieve an ancient hidden map and that's the key to a legendary treasure. Her name's Alosa. There's a ruthless pirate crew. Her captor. Oh, someone takes her. Ooh, okay, fun. Apparently there's also a second one, Daughter of the Siren Queen. For those who have read this book, do you have to read one and the other one? Like, is this one connected to the second one or no? Can I just read this one? Because I kind of just want to read this one. I don't really want to go into the second one, if I'm being honest. If I must, I must. Okay, I'm excited. Daughter of the Pirate Queen. You know what? It's fun because it's good that we have a fantasy in here, but I just wasn't expecting it. Things kind of went downhill with this one. I'm not going to lie, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm excited nonetheless. Okay, we have three more. Three more chances to get some good ass books. Here we go. 17. It's story as old as time. One day you're 17.
pain waiting for your life to start. And the other day, your life is now and this is you. You know that quote from One Tree Hill? It's not at all like what I'm saying, but do you know that quote? What is it? Oh, assistance to the villain. I heard this book is so good. I've been wanting to read it. Okay, this is a good one. This is a good one to put on here. Notorious high ranking villain seeks loyal level headed assistant for unspecified office duties. Oh, <laughs> unspecified you say, okay. Evie and who's this other person? I don't really know, it just says Evie. Well, that seems fun. And there's a map. I love me a good map. Like, look at that. Fun stuff. It was an ordinary day when Evie met the villain. I'm sorry, wait, is this in third person? No, 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 no. Oh my God, it is. Oh no. But you know what? We could listen to it. So it's okay. All's well that ends well. I'm excited and I have a little bookmark. So that's fun. <laughs> Assistance of the villain. Book number eight. Only two more. Oh my God. I feel like this is going by so fast. I'm upset already. I already miss this time that we're having. As soon as I turn this camera off, I'm gonna miss you. Number two. Yay! Okay, here we go. Number two, what is this? Oh, a rom-com. Okay, honestly, I'm totally faking it. That's fun. I think this one, I remember several times picking it up, being like, I'm gonna read it, and then I never do. So this is a good time right now that I'm gonna read it. Rach, she's down on her luck. She's an assistant to personal assistant. Blah, blah blah. She lives on her ex-boyfriend's couch and she has a whole secret past. But then she meets Prez. He's an aspiring politician, certified Capricorn, and definitely an unlikable dude. They accidentally go viral at the same time. The internet is calling Boobgate. Oh wait, she accidentally goes viral. Okay, his PR person says they should capitalize on the fame. Prez only wants to win the election and Rach, well, she only wants to keep her job. What do you mean? What's the scandal? What does he have to do with her? Oh, I must know more. Okay, that's actually pretty good. They got me because they have me interested. They're talking about coffee. I'm obsessed. Okay, I probably will be reading this one. This was a good one. Honestly, I'm totally faking it. Book number nine. We have one more book left. Oh my God, that's it. <gasps> this is such a big moment. Okay, I'm gonna let you pick this one, okay? Yeah, no, it makes sense. It makes sense why you wouldn't. Okay, here we go. Just gonna dig right deep in there. Ready? There are several ones here. We're gonna pick this one. This is the one. Ready? You're gonna see it before me. What number is that? That's upside down. Number 20. Oh my God, number 20. The last one. Okay, fun. Cool. I like that I picked the last one. Oh, what is this? I do not remember owning this. The love of my next life. Oh, I do. It's a duet. It's a duet. Oh man, so I'm gonna have to read both. This is only book one, but I'm gonna have to read both, right? There's a playlist. That's fun. Millie Eilish. Taylor Swift. Woohoo, I'm there. Okay, wait, this looks good. Oh my God, the dedication's so funny. I don't know who needs to hear this, but dump his ass. You deserve better. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I calmed his demons. He created mine. Make it, make it. Mackin? Mackin Davis? Macon Davis? I don't know what his name is. My best friend's brother, my tormentor, my least favorite person. Okay, pothead delinquent, a careless directionalist loser. Jesus, <laughs> that is so mean. <laughs> That's what I used to believe, but I didn't really know him. And when I finally saw him, it was the best and worst thing that ever happened to me. We both went down in flames. Okay. Okay, you know what? I quite like that a lot of these are books that I would have never like put on a TBR. I would have never thought of picking them up until I was in the mood. I would have just let the mood strike me and then eventually Got to them, but now this has been perfectly crafted for me by this blind TBR. So here is our official March reads. Let's hope that we read every single one of them. And if we don't, that's okay because we love failure. We don't judge. Are you listening, Eureka? I don't want to hear another, why do you pick TBRs if you're not even gonna read them? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited. I'm excited to read these. Thank you so much for joining me. If you read any of them, do let me know. Let me know what you think. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really want to open these other ones just to see like what other choices we were gonna have. Should we do that really quick? Like I'm just gonna open them all really quick. Okay, we have off the grid. Don't know what that is, but that's fun. Oh wait, I do remember that one. It's like an F1 romance. One dark window. Okay, so we were gonna go for like a dark kind of vibe if we had gotten that one. Oh, I really wanted to read this one. Vicious Union. Me and my mom want to buddy read this. It's a trilogy. It's Flor de los Muertos, book one and there's like two other ones. My mom and I might still read this. It's not in the TBR, but we might. Oh my God, wait, I should have taken a picture of all of this. Rats! Oh, I really wanted to read this one. Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lee's. Oh my goodness, that's upsetting. Okay, I see we're taking some else today because some of these I really wanted to. Oh my God, I really wanted to read this one too. Some of these we might still read. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I could lie, but I'm not going to. We're best friends. Oh, I wanted to read this one too because it reminds me of Taylor Swift. Rats. Rats up a rat tree, you guys. Rats up a rat tree. Oh, I was gonna listen to this one. This is Iris Kelly, right? Oh, I was gonna listen to this one. Mm, I probably still will. She picked all the books that I like coincidentally really wanted to read. Okay, just kidding. I didn't want to read this one. This was not on my radar at all. Like fun, but it was not on my radar whatsoever. So it's okay that I didn't get it. Oh, a hockey romance. Candy Steiner. This would have been a good one. Too bad. And then the last one was, oh, The Simple Wild. I would have never, I would have never in a million years picked this up. Like when it's series, I have to be really, really ready. So kind of good that we didn't get that. Okay, fun. Those are all of them, but 
those are not my TBR, so ignore those. This is my TBR. Let's remember this. Okay, goodbye. Have such a nice day. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. If you want to see more, if you have any ideas of how else I can have TBRs being chosen, let me know because I think that's so fun. Okay, bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. Like, leave. Oh, you're waiting for your kiss? Oh, you're waiting for your forehead kiss? Okay, okay, come here. Come here.